Hey, it was decent. Check this out. I'm number three right now in the country. So I actually have a match that was conducted at work in which I actually battled the number two person right there. That's the guy's name right there. So I couldn't record it initially. Well, I did record it, but I couldn't like do a lot of commentary is what I'm saying. So I'm going to play back that battle for you and post commentate it for you guys. Hopefully this will be the last post commentary for Journey to Elite Series of 66. No items, so I will see you guys in a bit. And I'm back. Would you look at that? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to start things off with my Mammoth Swine. He's going to lead up with Galvantula to try to set up the Sticky Web right away, which is a silly mistake. Because as opposed to setting up rocks, I'm going to get rid of that thing right away. So that's a Pokemon out of the way right then and there. And he has Aegis Slash, I believe, so I can bring in my Manda Buzz and go for the Defog. So, Galvantula didn't even get a shot to do anything. If that was me, I would have just like straight up Energy Ball. Like, I mean, it probably wouldn't have killed, depending on the set. But at the same time, that's a silly mistake that he ended up doing. So I'm going to go for the recover because I know that I'm going to be put in a scenario in which Amoongus is going to... I'm sorry, not Amoongus. In which Azumarill is going to come back into play and try to finish off what I have. I'm going to pivot switch into my Quagsire, which won't be able to take two attacks. So now I'm going to go out into my Sylveon, which is my special wall. Sponges, anything I Dragon wants to do. Toxic, that's fine, baby. I got the Heal Bell. So I have Hyper Voice, Heal Bell. There's nothing I Dragon can do. So he's going to switch out into his Amoongus. Amoongus is the thing that is holding me back very, very, very much. I have to get this thing out of the way because this is a Toxic stalling team. And I can't lay up Toxic Spice. Well, I can to apply pressure, but if I lay up Toxic Spice and he switches back in, he could also pivot switch into High Dragon and or Aegis Slash, who won't get affected by the Toxic Spice, and then switch right back out into Amoongus to prevent his Pokemon from taking any damage from this poison that I potentially might set up. So I'm just going to go for the uh, the Roos, he's going to predict me to switch out, hence I'm going for the Spore, man the Buzz is a great switch out into Amoongus, I was also trying to play off as if I had the Brave Bird at first instead of Flower Play, but I do not have Brave Bird, I can actually stay in, I guess, I think, and kind of stall him out a little bit, maybe to see, to level up his patience, to see how patient he really is. Because I have all the patience in the world. I mean, I will sit there and do a Skarm versus Skarm battle until one of us struggles to death. And without any means of her rushing the opponent or rushing me, I will wait until like the last seconds too. I mean, I'm, I'm really such an asshole when it comes to the patience in Pokemon battles. You guys don't really know that, but yes, I am very patient. So now in comes the Zoom Room, and this is the scenario that I was talking about here in which if I didn't recover earlier with my Quagsire, my Quagsire will be meeting the Scrap Heat as Play Rough does a little under half, but if I would have kept the damage as opposed to um, doing a recover move on the switch out to Amoongus previously, my Quagsire would not be living right now. So I'm going to recover up until he feels tired. Maybe he might switch right back out into Amoongus. And um, well, he has one Pokemon dead, so I can actually do a time stall if worst case if worst case scenario comes into play. If he keeps on doing the same pattern, switching out to a Moongus and then afterwards switching out into a pivot switch before switching out into a Zoomerum, that's great too because I will still win being that he did waste his Galvantula in the early run. So um, Amoongus comes back into play, I'm just going to go for the recovery again because I might again be put in that scenario in which Amoongus, I'm sorry, I keep saying Amoongus, in which Azumarill will come out into play and then Azumarill might be put, might put my Quagsire in a scenario in which my Quagsire will be destroyed by a 2 hit KO, well, will be 2 hit KO by any move that he decides to do. So now I'm going to switch out to my Sylveon, he goes for the Taunt, and that's alright because he stays in, he stays in? On a wow, buddy, you're quite weak to me. All right, so that's two Pokemon down. I can actually assume some momentum here. Hence why I try to stay in with the Sylveon to try to get some damage with the uh, Mammoth Swine here with the Hyper Voice. Even though I don't really have to, like I can just like wait 50 seconds. I think I have like 50 seconds to make a move and advantage of the time because I have patience like that, and that's what I usually try to do. In a sense, why also I don't post a lot of the battles that I have with this specific team because I do tend to time stall because it usually favors me in a sense. So I can, I mean, I still am in a scenario which I can win, but it's like time stalling is also one of the best things for me for this party. So I'm gonna switch out into my Quagsire again. He made a great switch to bait me into going out to Mana Bus to take some um, damage from the poison. Afterwards, I'm just gonna try to get a score, a burn, hopefully a burn on this thing. A burn on Amoongus will be so, so helpful right now. 
So I'm gonna switch right back out to Sylveon just as Death Rider or whatever because I, I can. He lost two Pokemon and I only lost one with Sylveon. And some of these moves I really did wait until the last minute. I'm just gonna go for the Defog as opposed to going for the Roost. So I wasn't sure if he wanted to go out into Azumarill. So instead of going for the Roost, I went for the Defog and um, Mana Buzz is down. So now we're actually even, but I still have a bit of an advantage over him. So now I'm just going to go for the Icicle Crash, thinking that I could just like finish it off because I did face an Amoongus during the previous battle, in which it just like completely one shot, no crit, nothing. But that Amoongus is probably especially defensive, and I didn't take account into this one probably being physically defensive. So I wasn't able to finish it off, but thankfully I was able to score a flinch, which prompted him to switch out to Azumaro, which also meant that I would switch it up and go for the Earthquake, why not? And then he takes damage from the Earthquake and the Poison. So Azumaro is looking like freaking scrap metal right now, scrap piece. So, he's gonna go for the play rock to try to finish me off. I'm gonna survive with two hit points, good for the recover, and that will be a living Quagsire that you still have to deal with. So Zuma bites the dust because I was able to uh, poison it a little bit early on. It comes back in Amoongus, and I'm just gonna switch out, I guess, maintaining my momentum. Still, I have the Rosary, he can't really do anything. Rosary blocks the score as well as Mandibuzz did. And um, he has Aegislash. Aegislash, Mamoswine, and Amoongus left over. I'm just gonna go for the Leech Seed, hopefully this one. If it's physically offensive, that's fine because I have Quagsire. If it's specially defensive, or especially offensive, that's fine, I have Roserade. So Roserade can take all of that, and even if one is in Blade form, assuming that once he sees me use Synthesis, and he will try to go for a Barrage of Shadow Balls, I can go for the Dazzling Gleam. And even though Dazzling Gleam isn't very effective against Steel types, it will do a lot of damage, well, it will do a significant amount of damage onto Aegislash because it's in Blade Mode. You know, Aegislash's special defense isn't all that high in Blade Mode. So I'm just going to show him the synthesis real quick and I'm just pissing him off a little bit because each and every move right now I'm actually time stalling. So he's actually growing more desperate. I don't think he would have made that switch into Mamoswine to try to speed things up if I had not been time stalling. So it's kind of like a little bit of a psychological battle. So Mamoswine bites the dust and I just prayed on that. I knew that he was going to probably try to do that because I'm time stalling him and he's losing because of the time stall. So now he changes stances, goes for a Shadow Ball. Even with the special defense drop that you're about to see, it's not going to be enough to finish off the Rosary as I'm able to get off a nice little synthesis and he's going to go for a secondary Shadow Ball and that's not going to be able to finish me off and then he just quits. <laughs> so I don't blame him. And this was fun, you know, this is a new way, I guess this is a new way for me to battle in a sense without posting it. This is kind of how I battle when I'm not posting in a sense. So I will see you guys later. Peace. What you doing?